a very interesting story here as archaeologists are saying they're trying to decipher magic spells that were etched onto tiny rolls of gold and silver. They say they found these alongside skeletons that were buried almost 2,000 years ago. They say the alphabet is Greek. That much we know. The language is Aramaic. And they say it's a Middle Eastern mystery. All this discovered in Serbia at the foot of a massive coal fire power station. And after finding these, they think there could be more. Now, they believe the inscriptions are magic spells that were taken to the grave to invoke divine powers to perform good or evil. And that's what's interesting about this is they're just flat out saying that these are magical spells written in gold and silver in these tiny little lead cases that once they opened them, these little scrolls came out. And as you can see, when they unroll them, they look like a candy wrapper in size. But they said they read the names of a few demons off of it that are connected to the territory of modern-day Syria. They're not giving up much more. I'd like to be able to analyze these for myself. I'm sure others would too, to be able to try to decode the mystery here. I mean, they have to have some kind of a bead if they're already reading the names of demons. Now, they're saying that the fragile golden and silver scrolls are basically like what they're finding in other countries, amulets of binding magic. And they say that it's very real. Now, this goes back, I mean, this is all connected to an ancient Roman site is what they're saying. And then this goes back, for me, right into King Solomon, him being a master sorcerer. He controlled and casted spells and talked to and gave treats to and ordered the 72 angels and demons of the Goetia. These are some of the biggest secrets out there. As History Channel and everyone else wants to tell you that Knights Templars went to Solomon's Temple, they dug, they discovered the, the chalice that had Christ's blood in it, the Holy Grail. That's not what they discovered. They discovered magic. They discovered magic spells, the secrets to alchemy, how to turn other metals into gold, and this is why everywhere they went, they were treated like kings. They held these secrets. And it wasn't very secret to a lot of the people in these times. And you just have to go back and read the stories of Solomon himself. And it shows you what he did in terms of being a wizard and controlling the spirit realm. So these were very real and real to a lot of people and pretty interesting here with this story. But figured I'd bring it to everyone's attention here. It's not every day that you see something like this. I'll leave a link in the description. It's been Dabu 7.